The National Party leadership appears at odds tonight over the future sale of Kiwi Bank. It comes after Three News revealed last night a secret recording of Bill English's views during the National Party conference at the weekend. English appears to favour a future sale, but Key has today said a sale is unlikely. Joining us now is political editor Duncan Garner. Duncan. Good evening, Hillary. Well, yes, this is uh, pretty sloppy stuff from the National Party. It does appear to me that both John Key and Bill English now have differing opinions over the future sale of the Kiwi Bank. The National Party conference, like most, are heavily rehearsed and staged. But at a social event on Friday night, Deputy Leader Bill English was secretly taped talking to two delegates about the possibility of selling the government-owned Kiwi Bank. The audio was leaked exclusively to Three News last night. Have a listen. How about things like Kiwi Bank? I mean, yeah, we've got to do something, but we can't do it now. Have to get rid of Kiwi Bank? I mean, well, eventually, but not now. Yeah, that's just the way it is. It's working. Our supporters get a bit angsty, but it's working. English clearly favours a sale one day, but National's policy is not to sell assets in its first term. And its leader is arguing English hasn't strayed far from the script. He's simply making the point uh, that, you know, uh, we have a policy and the policy is this, we won't be selling Kiwi Bank uh, in our first term, uh, nor will we likely to sell it in the future. But the language is looser and less careful, and Labour has pounced. We've always known that the National Party supports selling state assets. Um, they felt they've had to say they won't sell state assets, but I think what we learned from this conversation is, given a half an excuse, um, they'd revert to type. English also gives frank views on why National needs to keep some Labor policies like working for families. All our work tells us they are pretty keen on keeping their bit they got. And we call them Labor plus voters. And I sit here thinking, that nice man, Mr P, he's pretty smart. He'll get me a bit more. The government believes English is patronising key. Clearly English sees Key as the sort of smiling face, you know, he's, he's the pretty boy put up front, um, but English is the real brains behind it all. But English also suggests National may make changes to the Working for Families programme down the track. The last thing we watched from the whole election campaign, with families of four on TV saying, Mr Key took our money off us, can't do that. So later on we have to have a bit of a sort out. English also suggests that Key doesn't understand working for families, but Key is dismissing that. Oh, I think he does defend me the whole time, but you know, we always have robust debates about things. These conferences are usually so well scripted, unless of course you're a bit loose with your talk and your tape. So Hillary, this is a bit embarrassing really for the National Party. They, Bill English clearly thought he could get away with talking to this delegate or these two delegates and he simply hasn't got away with it. The secret recording has taken place. But look, what's vital here is that I think that John Key and Bill English now definitely do have two separate opinions on the future sale of Kiwi Bank. You saw Bill English there in that, in that tape, he eventually wants a sale and, and John Key is talking about it's most unlikely. This is a very untidy position for the National Party uh, to be holding. They can, they will get questions uh, tomorrow in Parliament. Labour will simply just hit the nuclear button on this because for so long Labour have been saying that the National Party has a secret agenda. So very untidy day on what should have been a successful Monday coming out of their annual conference. Duncan, thank you. The admission from Bill English that Kiwi Bank will eventually be sold has infuriated ordinary New Zealanders. Three News spoke to some of the bank's customers in Wellington today and everyone we approached was against the sale. Rachel Morton reports. Kiwi Bank has been operating for six years now and each week 2,000 more customers open an account. The attraction? It's New Zealand owned and operated. But with National's admission it will eventually sell the bank, customers are reeling. I'd be horrified. Um, I think it's a real tragedy that we only have one major New Zealand bank and to sell it probably offshore would be a real tragedy. I'm not terribly impressed actually. I prefer the Kiwi Bank stays within New Zealand hands. So I actually joined Kiwi Bank for the fact that it was actually a New Zealand owned and established you know, bank. The union which represents banks has described Bill English as underhanded. It says Kiwi Bank, which has about 600,000 customers and has generated millions of dollars in revenue, has changed banking in New Zealand. What we've seen is the other banks move away from closing branches because they haven't been able to, so it's certainly create competition there. The bank's main advertising strategy is to promote the fact that it is New Zealand owned and operated. Its theme song on television advertisements is the national anthem. Easy switch and we'll be right over.
and its slogan is join the movement, but many say they'd quit the bank if National sold it. Do you still become a Kiwi Bank customer? I think not. If the um, Kiwi Bank was sold on to foreign ownership, would you consider moving your account? Um, yes, I, I have another personal account with TSB, which is another um, Kiwi-owned bank. Um, I'm all for retaining Kiwi banks. National has promised not to sell any assets in its first term if it wins the election, but the Bank Workers' Union says it doesn't matter when it happens, it will still be a huge loss and an unpopular one. Rachel Morton, 3 News.